Okay, we are going to continue uh, uh, the multiple access protocol. So uh, we are going to discuss uh, uh, another random access protocol. So it is called carrier sense multiple access. So we have discussed uh, slotted aloha and power aloha. These are the random access protocol. Okay. So after discussing the power aloha and slotted aloha, now we are going to discuss carrier sense multiple access protocol. Okay. So first of all, it is called also it is called CSMA. Okay. So what is the motive of CSMA? How it works? First of all, you can see the carrier sense. What does it mean? Carrier sense means that before transmitting the data, the node listen. The node listen. The node listen. The node sense the medium. Carrier sense means medium is sensed. That is the node listen. What? The node listen if someone is transmitting the data. For example, this node wants to transmit the data. So before transmitting the data, this node will sense the medium. It will sense the carrier. It will listen to the medium. If someone is transmitting the data, so it means that the medium is busy. The medium is busy. So if the medium is busy, then this node will not transmit the data. Okay. And when this node sends the medium and the medium is free, that is medium is idle. That is no other node is transmitting the data because if other node transmit the data, then this data move on this link. So in this move on this link from one end to another end. So if a node is, if any other node is transmitting the data, then this node will have then this signal pass to this link through uh, through this portion of the link. So this node will listen it. So if this node is not listening any signal, so it means that no one is transmitting the signal on this link. Okay. So if the node since that the channel is idle if the node before transmitting the data this node will listen to the medium it will sense the medium it will sense the carrier if the channel is idle if this node finds that this channel is idle idle means it is free no other no other there is no other signal no other node is transmitting the data then the node will transmit entire frame then this node it will transmit the entire frame okay but if we, when the when this node transmit the data so it again listen to the medium why because if this loss if this node is listen to the medium and it finds that the medium is free and the same time this node also listen to the medium and th the medium is free okay so both this node and this node they sense the medium that the medium is free and both start transmission at the same time so when this signal arrives here and this signal arrives here so they will collide with each other so there when they collide with each other this is called collision so this is called collision so when the a node since the medium and the medium is free then the node transmit the entire frame but when the node transmit the entire frame then still the node listen to the medium why because the node want that whether my signal is collided with another or not okay so if channel is since idle then then the node transmit entire frame and if the channel if the node want to transmit the data and before transmitting the data the node will sense the medium the node will sense the medium and if the channel is busy if this node finds that the channel is busy why is busy because someone else node is transmitting the data so if this node is transmitting the data then this data move from the one end of the link to the another end so this node will 
will sense it so if the this node sense that the medium is busy because someone else is sending the data on this link then this node defer transmission that is it this node will not transmit the data it will wait for certain time it will wait for certain time so the human analogy is that for example if someone else is talking then other will not interrupt other will not interrupt but it may happen that two person they start speaking at same time so when they start speaking at same time okay then they will stop this is called collision detection that this node and this node they both sense the medium at same time and there is no signal on the link so both the node finds that the medium is free and both the nodes sense transmission so when this node this the signal of this node moves here and the signal of this node moves here so they will collide here so when they collide with each other so the both signal are lost so this is analogy like two person that start speaking at same time so they both stop they both stop okay so this is called collision detection okay so carrier sense multiple access protocol means that uh, before transmitting the data the node will listen to the medium if the medium is idle then the node will transmit the entire frame and if the if the channel or if the medium is busy okay busy means there someone else is transmitting the data on the link there's another there's signal on the link okay so then the node will defer its transmission then it then it will wait okay so it will sense after some time so the human analogy of carrier sense multiple exit protocol is that that they uh, if someone is talking if someone is speaking then other will not interrupt it okay and if two or more than two person start at same time speaking then both stop because it they interrupt okay so as we talked about that uh, in the carrier sense multiple access okay before the node transmit the data the node listen to the media and the node transmit if the channel is sensed either okay and if the channel is busy the node doesn't transmit so it means that the carrier sense multiple access there will be no collision there will be no collision because the node transmit only when the channel is idle when other is not transmitting and if other is transmitting then the channel is busy so the, the node will not transmit so so we can see that the in carrier sense multiple access there will be no packer collision but in the carrier sense multiple access, uh, access protocol the collision is still possible the still possible as i have explained it through an example like for example this node and this node it sends the medium at same time and the medium is free for so both nodes will find that the medium is free for example there are two persons they want to talk and they first listen that no one is talking so they both okay so they both find that there is no one talking so then the, then these two nodes they start transmission at same time so when they start a transmission at same time then this their signal will collide their signal will collide so this is in an example okay so another example is that that in the csmaca still the collision packet collision is possible how for example this is the timeline okay suppose at time t0 this is the node these are the nodes they are connected to this link okay so suppose this node this node transmit signal this node is uh since the medium and the medium is free there is no signal so this node start transmission so this signal moves both here and here so the signal is moving so the signal has reached just here signal has reached just here on this side on the right side it has reached just here and the right, left side it has just reached here and this node it sends the medium so since the signal has not arrived because it takes time to move the data the signal from here to here and from here to here 
so when the signal is transmitted so it moves both side and left side toward right side so when it when the signal pro propagate through the link through the medium then it takes time this is called propagation time so suppose this node it start is transmission okay these yellow lines so this node has started transmission so the signal is moving down this side and toward right and toward left so the signal has just moved here okay on the right side on the left side it has moved here so this node suppose it sends the medium so this node the since this signal it has it, it has not arrived here so this node will not this node will sense that the medium is free because the signal has just reached here so the signal has not reached here so this node finds that the medium is free so the, if the medium is free then this node will also start its transmission you can see that this node also start transmission these are the red okay so this the signal of this node it moves here and the signal of this node it it has moved here so when they okay so they just uh, uh, mix up here they just mix up here so you can see that after some time these both signal they will collide okay these lines so this signal will moves here and this signal moves here so they both collide here they both collide so collide means when they collide with each other they interfere with each other they in, this is called interference and this is called fading both signal they last you can see that interference is two type constructor and destructor but we assume that here the interference is destructive that both signal last both signal last means both data is last so as we have told that in carrier sense multiple access before transmitting the data the medium is sensed if the medium is busy then the node will not transmit the data if the medium is idle then the node will transmit the data but still in this csma collision has can happen so this is an example that show that how this is the signal can collide so collision can still occur why because there is propagation delay means two nodes may not hear each other transmission for example as we explained that this node it start it sends the medium at this time at t is equal to zero it sends the medium and there is no signal on the medium okay so it means that the medium is free and actually it is also free so it start transmission so in the start transmission so the signal moves on right side and toward left side okay at same time so the signal when it moves so it takes time this is called propagation delay this is called propagation delay so it takes time suppose it has reached here and at this time t1 when the signal of this node it has reached here this at this t1 this node sends the medium so since the signal is of this node it is here so this node it will find that the signal is the medium is free the medium is free so it will also start its transmission okay and then you can see that when both signal they will collide okay so collision the entire packet transmission time is wasted you know that this node this data is transmitted successfully but this data it is collided but we you can know that when a packet is received entirely correctly then the packet is accepted if only one bit is also missing in a packet then the whole packet is lost so it will mean that this data that is was successfully received it is also lost because this rest of the packet is discarded so entire packet transmission time is wasted so what are the reason the distance and propagation delay it plays the major role you can see that why you can see that here when this node transmit the data so the reach data is reached here and here so this node it is the larger distance therefore it will not hear its transmission okay and since the when the signal is propagating so it takes time okay the signal doesn't move immediately from one end to another end 
but it takes time this is called propagation delay so there's why the signal has reached just here and this node sends the medium and the medium it finds the medium for free okay so in the csmaca though it has low probability of packet collision why as compared to aloha and slotted aloha the csma it has low probability of packet collision why because the node first listen to the medium and then transmit okay so, but you can see that uh, but still it has the packet collision so another so when this collision happens okay for example you can see that that still in the csmaca we can have packet collision so how to cope with this situation how to cope with this situation how to address this situation so it means that when node transmit the data for example you can see when this node before transmission it will sense the medium if the medium is free then the, this node transmit the data so when it transmit the data so it will again listen to the medium it will again listen to the medium why because it will listen to the medium that whether there is a collision or not if there is a collision that is another node is also sending the data so if there is a collision so this when this node detects that the, there is a collision so it will immediately abort the transmission it will immediately stop the transmission so at this time you can see that this node can detect that there is a collision so there is a collision so the so when when the collision is detected so immediately this node and this node it will start the transmission the, its energy is like that that for example two person they start talking at same time so both stops both immediately stops okay so this is called collision detection collision detection csma cd what does it mean that before transmission the data the node sends the medium carrier okay carrier is sensed how it is sensed because if someone else is transmitting the data then this node will not transmit the data if if it finds that the medium is free then it start data transmission but when it start data transmission then it still sensing the medium it sense sensing the medium why because if there is a collision detected if the collision is detected within short time the time when the whole entire packet is transmitted so if the collision is detected then both the collided both every node that detects the collision it will stop its transmission it will stop transmission the colliding transmission about it all the nodes they will stop the transmission so it reduces the channel wastage as i have explained here okay for example at this time here you can see that at this time when this node task start transmission 81 this node so at this time it detects that the signal has collided this collider signal it reached to the this node at this time so it should stop transmission this data should not be transmitted and this node it will detect the collision early it it can detect collision at this time okay at this time it can detect collision. so when this node detect collision so it will start transmission it should not send this data because this data is lost this data is lost so this is the functionality of cd collision detection okay so collision detection that when the uh, uh, when the packet is transmitted still the medium is sensed the medium is sensed forward if there is a collision detected then the colliding uh, transmission is aborted it is stopped okay and collision detection it is easy in wired lane it is easy in wired lane because the measured signal strength it basically remains you can see that for example I can see that when this collision happens here at this time the collision happens here where this signal 
yellow and red they both collide here at this time here so when it collides so its strength or uh, its amplitude becomes larger and it, then it moves both toward left side and toward right side like in, you, you can see that this collided signal it collides here so the collided signal moves both toward right side and toward left side okay so when it moves okay so when it moves so you can see that when it moves so the amplitude or the uh, it's uh, the signal amplitude can reduce but the signal amplitude doesn't reduce very much it remains low till from one end to, end to the another end of the node so this collider signal its amplitude in the wired network it remains uh, same almost same from uh, one end when it moves from uh, or to, uh, to one end and to another end okay so that's why this collision detection is possible for example if two person they start talk, uh, talking at same time so the both signal collide so there is a huge wise okay so this huge wise it remains same from one end to the link to the another link okay so it is collision detection is easy in wide laden because the measured signal strength the amplitude it remains comparable same compare uh, transmitted and received signal okay so how then the medium is sensed okay how a node detects that there is no signal for example how the node is detected? because basically the node sense the uh, the uh, intensity the electric field intensity of the uh, of the link if the link if the electric intensity for example it is less than 5 decibel suppose 5 decibel so it means that there is no uh, signal if it is greater than 5 decibel and less than 10 decibel it, it, that is the signal uh, the the electric field intensity is for, for example it is uh, it is between the uh, 5 decibel to 10 decibel so it means that someone is transmitting the data okay if the electric field intensity is greater than 10 it means that there is a collision for example if someone is talking so you can see that you can you can hear it through its loudness from loudness uh, uh, one can detect that there is a uh, someone is talking okay so similarly the when the collision happens when the collision happens so the uh, signal strength it becomes higher it becomes very large and it moves toward left side and right and this large uh, uh, strength it remains of the signal it remains uh, 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 same up to uh, from one end to another end okay so therefore the collision detection is possible but in wireless lane it is not possible we will discuss about it okay so the CSMA CD its analogy is like the polite conversation con conversationalist what does it mean that if two person they if someone wants to talk so it before listen that someone else is not talking okay if someone else not talking and two persons start immediately uh, uh, talking at same time then both stop both stop so this is the analogy of collision detection that when two nodes uh, uh, is transmitting the data and they detect collision in the two nodes they are transmitting the data and they detect collision so both node when detect collision they will abort the transmission they will stop transmission okay and they will send the jamming signal okay so you can see that here the collision direction you can see okay for example this node it sends the medium at this time so there is no signal at this time there is no signal and the link so this node start transmission when the signal moves okay here up to here this signal moves up to here and at the one time this node also sends the medium since the signal is here so at this time there is no signal at and the link at, at this portion of the link at t1 and this link okay and this portion of the link there is no signal because the signal is just reached here so this node it will find that the medium is free so this node will also start transmission 
so when is so both signal they meet here okay so when they meet here so there is a collision and when there is a collision so the collides signal it moves toward right and toward left right so it is it moves toward right so it takes less time then this node detects that there is collision so this node it detects early that there is a collision because this collider signal it reached to this node early and in this collider signal it reached to this node it takes time it takes time so it takes larger time so this node it detects the collision early so it will stop its transmission early it will when it detects the collision so it will stop transmission when it stop transmission and similarly this node it detects collision later so at this time it stop the transmission it stop the transmission okay so this is how the collision is detected okay and we stop transmission and after some time that it sends the data it sends the data okay so how ethernet is, uh, how the this basically this CSMA CD algorithm it is used in Ethernet. We will discuss about Ethernet. Ethernet is a standard protocol. Like for example, the transport layer standard protocol is UDP and TCP. So Ethernet is one of the standard protocol that is used in the data link layer. So that Ethernet protocol it uses CSMA CD algorithm for medium access. For medium access, it is using CSMA CD algorithm. So how it works? The NIC, that is the LAN card, the data link layer. When it receives the datagram from network layer, so it creates frame. Okay, create frame is the data link layer. It adds its header and trailer both. So it adds the data link layer header. Okay, then the NIC sends the channel. If NIC sends the channel and the channel is idle, the LAN card it sends the medium because it is using CSMA CD algorithm. So in CSMA CD, before transmission the data, the carrier should be sensed. Carrier should be sensed. So if the NIC sends that the channel is idle, then it start frame transmission. When it start frame transmission, so still it has to sense the medium for what? For a packet collision. So if the NIC sends channel busy, then it waits until the channel become idle. When the channel become idle, then it will transmit. Okay. So Ethernet, how it works? So when it receives the datagram, so it adds the header. And after the packet is ready, the data link layer header is added, then the NIC sends the channel. If the channel is idle, then it start transmission. And if the NIC sends the channel is busy, then it waits until the channel become idle when the channel become idle then we start transmission so if nic transmit when the nic sends the medium then it is idle so it start transmission so it, if start transmission then still the nic has to sense the medium for what for packet collision if the nic transmit the entire frame without detecting another transmission without detecting collision so nic is done with frame so nic will come to know that the frame is transmitted correctly but if this uh, if the nic it sends the channel idle so it start transmission so when it start transmission so it is it is again sensing the medium for what for a packet collision so if the nic detects another transmission if the nic detects another transmission that is if the nic detects the packet collision while transmitting the data then it aborts, it aborts means it stop transmission and send the jamming signal. James signal is sent why? So that other nodes come to know that the data is collided. So the other node cannot transmit the data. Okay. So when the a node detects the collision, so it start it stop the transmission. And what does it do next? It sends the jamming signal. So with, when the node detects the collision, so it stops the transmission. This is the first. Second, it sends the jamming signal. It come, it get to know other nodes that there is the packet collision. They should not transmit the data. This is the second thing. 
the third thing is that the third step is that the nsc it entered the binary or it is called exponential backup algorithm what does it mean so we will discuss about it binary exponential means that if this is the mth time collision detected nth time then the consecutive then the nsc will choose k at random from 0 to up to 2 k power m minus 1 and the nsc will wait for k into 5 12 bit times after this time then again the node will sense the medium if the medium is fine free then the node will transmit the data okay so this is called binary exponential so what does it mean so when i when a node sends the channel it is free the node start transmission so when the node start transmission it again sends the medium okay the node is sending the data and the node is also sensing the medium for what if the node detects the collision that if the node detects that in, if the NIC detects that another node is transmitting so if the collision is detected then this NIC it will abort it will stop the transmission okay and it will send the JMX signal this is second and third the node will wait the node will wait how long it will wait it depends that how how many times the node is detecting this collision suppose it is mth time consecutive m time for example 10 time so consecutive 10 time then it will wait for how much time so it will select a random value of k between 0 to 10 minus 1 so i will explain this through an example so when the node detects the collision so it stops the transmission second it sends the jamming signal it get to know other node that there, there is collision and third it wait it wait for certain time before it start transmission before it sends the medium so this waiting time it is depend upon that this collision is, is detected how many times okay so we will discuss about it suppose i am going to explain the binary exponential algorithm okay suppose node 1 and node 3 they start transmission at same time so they both detect collision node 1 and node 3 it, it will detect collision you can see that collision is detected so node 1 detect this collision 10th time this is its 10th time that it is detecting packet collision so it will select k value from 0 to 2 k power 10 minus 1 suppose it detects k is equal to 600 so it means that this node 1 it will wait for 600 seconds suppose these are the values and the node 3 it detects the collision for first time so it will select the value k between 0 to 2 to the power 1 so suppose it detects it sets the value k is equal to 1 so it means that when node 1 and node 3 they start transmission and they detect collision so node 1 this is the node 1 it is 10th type packet collision and for node 1 it is the first time okay so node 1 it will wait and node 3 will wait but node 1 will wait for longer time because it is its 10th time and node first node 3 it will wait for one second so it means that both are waiting so this node 3 waiting time it will expire early it will expire early because it is one second so after one second the node 3 it sends the medium and it gets the medium that it is free so it will start transmission similarly suppose node 1 and node 2 they start transmission at same time okay node 1 it is its 10th time and node 2 it is its first time so node 2 will select k is equal to 1 and node, 10, node 1 will select k is equal to 600 okay so again node 2 its waiting time will expire first when its waiting time is expired first so it will sense the medium and when the medium is sensed then it will start transmission so when node 2 its k waiting time is one second and node uh, one uh, node 2 waiting time is one second 
and node 1 waiting time is 6 milliseconds so node 1 is waiting for longer time so node 2 is waiting for less time so it means that node 2 when node 2 time will expire first so when node 2 time is expired when node 2 waiting time is expired then it will go to step 2 so what is step 2 step 2 means so node 1 waiting time is expired one second then it returns to step 2 so this is step 2 that it will again sense the medium so when it sense the medium and the medium is idle then it will start transmission so you can see that the node 1 node 2 it gets uh, 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 it gets its turn for transmission early as compared to node 1 node 2 it gets its turn for transmission early as compared to node 1 here node 3 it gets its turn for transmission early as compared to node 1 so this is unfair why unfair because node 1 it has arrived before early it is its 10 time that it is attempting to send the data and it finds the collision so it means that node 1 has arrived early okay but since it is when it is its 10 time so it has arrived early okay so if it has allied already and it's its 10 time that it is detecting the collision so when it is 10 time so its waiting time will be larger but node 3 it's it is its first time that it is detecting collision so its waiting time is less so node 3 time will, will expire early so it node 3 gets done early so this is unfair because node 1 has arrived before so first node 1 should get the uh, chance but this is the therefore binary exponential algorithm is back, is unfair this back of time it is unfair because the node 1 who, who has arrived earlier they should get the first turn to transmit the data okay but why we we increase the waiting time when we when a node sends the collision again and again the reason or the motive is that for example if you are calling to someone and the call is busy for the first time the call is busy so then you call after one second the call is busy again then you 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 attempt after five seconds suppose that again it is busy then you then do you wait for longer time so this is the motive that if the node is attempting to transmit the data and the node is detecting collision again and again then it means that the medium is busy so it will it should wait for longer time so this is the motive that exponential breakup algorithm it increase the waiting time when the node when the node is uh, is uh, detecting the collision again and again okay but this binary exponential algorithm it leads to unfair because it is unfair because node one has arrived first okay and it is its 10th time that it is transmitting the data and it is detecting the collision and node 3 has arrived just it is its first time but node 3 will get first uh, turn to transmit the data so so the longer back of interval with more collision it is why why we we increase the back of time or we increase the uh, why we increase the uh, back of time longer for consecutive transmission because it means that the medium is busy so it should wait for longer time okay so this is actually the uh, efficiency of the uh, csma cd algorithm okay and again it is uh, it is better than aloha okay and pivot aloha and slotted aloha both because in aloha there is more chance of of packet collision because in aloha there is the node doesn't sense the medium okay and the slotted aloha still there is chances of packet collision but in the ccma cd before in the slotted aloha and pure aloha they they don't sense the medium but in the ccma cd they they sense the medium before transmission the data okay so the chances so its performance will be better and second when it's transmit the data it still detect the collision detection when the collision is detected then it stop transmission stop transmission so we have explained it so for example when this node detects the uh, collision so it stop transmission it doesn't send any more this signal okay for example here you can see that okay so if the signal 
if the collision is detected and it is not stopped so this the this node it is sending the data and this node is also sending the so the both data they are wasting okay but here when the nodes detect the collision okay so it stop transmission so the medium is not is uh, is uh, it reduce the wastage of medium okay so we have discussed curious since multiple access protocol so up to now we have discussed uh, channel partitioning algorithm okay we have discussed random access protocol random access make protocol and now we are discussing another protocol that is called taking tar okay they are also somehow centralized okay so in the taking turn protocol the first protocol it is called polling okay how it works first of all there is a master node for example this is a master node it basically invites the other nodes the other nodes become slaves it in it basically invites invites the slaves to transmit entire for example this master node it will first and why uh, uh, it will inquire this node that who wants to transmit the data who wants to transmit the data for example this node said i want to transmit the data and this node says i want to transmit the data and other two nodes they don't want to transmit the data okay so then the master comes to know that who wants to transmit the data so then master will poll poll means the master will ask this node if okay to transmit the data so other node will not transmit data so slave will transmit the data when they are allowed by the master okay for example you can see master pull this uh, this one and then it transmit the data similarly the master allow this node to transmit the data so this node transmit it so the slave node will transmit the data when they are asked by a master when they are allowed by a master so it means that typically used with the dumb slave devices these devices they are dumb they are slave devices so what are its limitation the first limitation is polling overhead that this node first the master will allow will ask the slave to transmit the data then the slave will can transmit the data so this is and second is latency okay so a node if this node has data but it cannot send the data why because it is waiting for master when the master will allow then it will transmit the data so there is latency involved and third is single point failure if this master node is failed then no one can transmit the data no one can transmit the data so this is the working of polling so in pull in pulling uh, the in taking turns this is the pulling is the first protocol and it is basically used in bluetooth okay so in pulling the there is a master node and the master node invites the slave nodes to transmit the data so the slave node cannot transmit the data by themselves they when they are asked by a master then they will transmit the data and the slave node they are use they are typically dumb devices so they are limitation are their disadvantage is this pulling over hit that first master has to transmit a packet and tell to this node to transmit the data okay then this node will transmit the data so this pulling packet that is sent it is the overhead and third it is latency for example this node has data to transmit but it cannot transmit the data because it is waiting because it is waiting for the master so when the master allow it then it will send the data and third disadvantage is single point failure for example if this master node is failed then the whole network becomes useless okay the whole network crash okay another taking turn protocol which is called token uh, token passing okay token passing means that basically the data transmission it is controlled by token the node which has token it can transmit the data the node which doesn't have token it cannot transmit the data for example this node has token so it can transmit the data the other node cannot transmit the data okay 
so control token passed from one node to next node sequentially for example this node has the token so it can transmit the data if this node doesn't want to transmit data then it will pass the token to the next node for example it passed now this node also is it has the token so if, if it wants it can send the data if it because it doesn't uh, have anything to send so it it is not sending the data so then it can move on it can pass on the token to the next node now when the token is reached here so since it this node has the data so it will transmit the data now it can transmit the data why because the token is with this node so it transmit the data when it transmit the data so the data is moved from here to here to here okay and then back to here so when the data is passed on to here so it will check whether the data is for this node or not if this is for not, if, if the data is not for this node then it will move on it, it will not accept the data but it will forward it further it will pass on the data to the next node if this node sends that this data is for this node so it will accept the data it will process the data but it will also pass on this data packet one copy of the packet to the next node since this data is not for this node so it will not accept it so it will pass it to this node when this node receives the data so it means that this data is generated by this node then this node will discard it this node will discard it so if this node has another packet then it can send it okay so how it works this will send the data okay the data is sent from this node to this node so it examines if data is for this node then it will accept since the data is not for this node so it will not accept but it will pass on to the next node when this data when this node receives the data so it, it will check that whether the data is for this node or not so how it is checked basically by using the destination mac address since the data is for this node so it will accept the data but it also pass on one copy to the next node similarly this node will pass on to this node so when the data is reached to the originating node then it will be discarded so when this node has nothing else to send then the token is passed to the next node so it's the token message is passed on and the node which has the token it can transmit the data so what are the limitation the token overhead the token is passed so this is extra transmission and latency because you can see that you can see that the token is with this node and the data is with this node so this node cannot transmit the data it has to wait for this token so this is called, this is latency and third is single point failure if this node keeps the token with itself and if this node doesn't forward the token then no node can transmit the data okay so this is the limitation or advantages of to, uh, polling, uh, token passing the first is the token overhead the second is latency and third is single point of failure that if this node it doesn't pass on this token so no another no other node can transmit the data or if this link is failed then no node can transmit the data basically this is used in fddi technology okay so we are going to discuss some uh, existing technique that are uh, using the cable access ne uh, these networks so one, one example of the cable access network okay and this network you can use uh, that for downstream 40 mbps it is uh, uh, using the broadcast channel okay for up there is 30 mbps multiple upstream channel okay so how the medium is used basically you can see that uh, the uh, the downstream they are using uh, if uh, FDMA FDMA means they are sending the channel at different frequencies okay similarly for upstream for internet TV and etc they are, they are sending the uh, data at different frequencies and time slots okay so similarly this is a uh, another protocol okay so you can see that here FDMA FDM is used for upstream 
and downstream okay and the tdma is used for upstream okay so this is how it works similarly if we can see that that uh, the ethernet protocol that we, we will call it uh, uh, wired lane it is used for wired lane wired lane networks so it is using csma cd protocol okay uh, and the bluetooth and the fddi and token ring they are using taking turn protocols taking turn protocols okay and the tdma fdma they are basically used uh, in the uh, they are basically used in the cellular networks they are used in the cellular networks okay so uh, we have discussed it and we will discuss another protocol it is called csma cj which is used in wireless in the wi-fi wireless lan so we will discuss it in the wireless network okay so up to now we have discussed the multiple access protocols next we will st start the addressing okay